Welcome to 2LBIN.com. Today we will be demonstrating how to replace the packing on one of our HP machines. This one in particular is the HP 106 and we will run you through all the steps from beginning to end. First thing you will want to do is run the boring bar completely out by twisting this. In order to take off the end cap, you have to remove both set screws in the end and in the sides. Once you have removed the set screws, you will use the spanner wrench that is provided with the HP machine to remove the end cap. The end cap is right handed threads, so you will turn it counterclockwise to remove. When removing, the end cap there is a plug on the inside of one of the set screws be sure not to lose that plug once you have removed the end cap you will slide the boring bar back a little bit to expose the bearings and the clip to make working conditions easier you'll want to clean the area you're working with to expose the clip At this point, you will take off the bearing and inspect the bearings to make sure all three pieces are in proper working order. mostly the bearings that all the balls will still move. The next step for removing the packing is removing the retainer nut which is on the inside of the machine. Now this nut is left handed thread so to take it off you will be turning it clockwise. there we have our retaining nut. Sometimes you will have to use a pick or something like it to remove the items. You will have a chevron followed by two rope packings. Followed by another chevron. And the very back is the brass retention washer. Now the first step in putting back the packing back into the machine uh, you will want to put the boring bar back in the machine. In doing so every item you put in the machine you will want to grease again to make sure there is ample amounts of grease for smooth operation. And since only half the boring bar goes back in the machine 
only greasing half of the boring bar should be sufficient. Once the boring bar is back in place, we will then reinstall the bearings. Now just as the boring bar when reinstalling the bearings, you will want to grease everything again. We use a heavy duty high temperature grease due to the fact that these machines are capable of handling up to 1500 PSI at 700 degrees Fahrenheit. First you will insert the bottom, bottom portion of the bearing. Followed by the bearing itself. And the top thrust washer. Once you have assembled the bearing, you will then slide it on the boring bar. And install the snap ring. Once you have installed the snap ring, you will insert the boring bar back into the housing. Now inside of the retaining nut on the back side, you must make sure that you reinstall the back brass pellet if it happened to fall out. A little bit of grease should hold it in place. Using the packing wrench, the span, using the spanner wrench that comes with the machine, you can tighten the retaining nut back on the machine. Once you have tightened in the nut, you will reinsert the set screws. Be sure to tighten the one on the end. The one on the side, you will just want to make flush with the cap itself. If you go too tight, you will lock the pellet, the brass pellet, on the boring bar, making the boring bar and the body turn at the same time.
When reinstalling the packing, I like to run the boring bar all the way back in to make it easy access to the internal part of the machine. Now that you have ran the boring bar completely back in the machine, it will make reinstalling the packing easily. When installing the packing, the first thing you want to do is grease and insert the brass thrust washer. Followed by the brass thrust washer, we will insert one of the graphite chevron packings, thoroughly greased. Using the back end of the packing tool, we will push the chevron all the way in to the back of the tool. After you have entered the graphite chevron, you will grease both rope packings and enter those next. When inserting the rope packing, be sure not to let it twist when inserting. Each time you put the rope packing in, you want to shove it all the way in to make sure it's in there tight. After the first rope packing, we will install the second rope packing.
Once you have inserted both graphite packings, once you have inserted both graphite rope packings, you will insert the graph the final graphite chevron packing. Once all the packing is installed, you will grease the retention nut and reinstall. Remember that it is left-handed thread. You will generally want to do this work in a vise with this clamped on the vise so that way you can torque down the packing as tight as possible. When torquing down the packing you want to make sure that the boring bar will still move freely when you put a 3 quarter inch wrench on the end. Now that we have installed the packing and tightened down the retention nut, we will take this machine down to our shop, hook it up to nitrogen and pressure it up to 1500 psi to make sure it's ready to go. This bottle does have 1500 PSI in it. At this point, we will tighten up and start sending up the pressure. As you notice, there was no bubbles back there, but there is bubbles here. Not enough thread tape, but it is still holding at 1500 PSI. Thank you for viewing our video and hope you enjoyed. For more questions, please call us at 1-800-279-5659.